cleaners. Not what you think we are. Not much of a market for it either, but no competition means more money. But that's not why I do it. Some bonehead husband slips up, maybe lets his hand slip across his wife's face or onto another woman. That's where I come in. I don't do it because I like it. I do it because nobody else will. Dame's coming in every night, like some cheap gin joint. Always looking for some help. But in the end, I can't fix their problems. I can only redirect them. They'll never truly be over. Just like a rat race. Talk to me. Judith's here, boss. Anyone else with her? Nobody here but her and her problems, boss. Send her in. Give it to me straight, kid. Don't give me a lie. Heard all of that before. From what I understand, you need someone cleaned. You're fully aware of what's gonna happen, aren't you? It's gonna be okay. I'll never hurt you again after tonight. But you need to tell me what happened. It happened last week. I got home from the office. Tim was home. I knew something was wrong. I could see it on his face. He had always had a hot temper, but something had really gotten to him. He came right up to my face and began barking his head off, asking questions like, where's our money going? What money are you talking about? Our retirement fund. I used a bit to pay off some debt, and Tim got so mad when he found out that he tried to pay me out for good. I knew he had gone crazy. I needed to protect myself. Is the poor bastard still at your apartment? I haven't been there since it happened. Please, no more questions. I followed your orders and paid you. Now please make this go away, Hank, please. Just one last thing. Anything. Do you have a gun on you? I'll have people take care of the body. No one will disturb you and I'll have people watching you 24-7. Well, thank you, Hank. But please, make sure nobody ever hears this from you. me, Hank. Judith, she's all yours. The funny thing about people is, they never know when to stop talking. Everyone knew Tim was a violent deadbeat who didn't deserve the dirt he stood on. And Judith was right to shoot him. But a girl like that will never make it in the real world. How can you expect to survive in a cutthroat world when you can't even feel safe with a gun? I meant what I said. I told her I'd keep her safe. This state pen will keep a nice watch over her, 24-7. But like I said, I can't fix problems. I can only redirect them. They'll never truly be over. Just like a rat race.